I now have the battery pack for my e-bike project. Just to take a quick look, but seal that spare space. That was full of foam padding. This padding and much, much more. By more, I just mean more padding. If you ever get a any component in general online, just please message the person and say, can you please send it with extra padding? Because you won't regret it. I haven't actually pulled this out, so bear with me. This is quite heavy. First ceiling. Okay then, let us decompile and examine. Yes, lots of padding. This thing could fall off of a 10 story building and probably survive with all this padding. Look at the size of this charger. This is meant to be a quick charger. 6 amp, whether it actually outputs 6 amps, I don't know. That's where the good old multimeter comes in handy to check. Um, this is meant to be a 10 amp cell battery pack, sorry. So this should be able to charge it in a little under 2 hours, which is pretty good. Good old adapters, these things always come in... Oh, that's... Is that American? I think that's American. Really? Usually I get them in Chinese, because this thing came from China. Oh, that's not quite good. Wobbly terminal there. Anyway. Well, that is annoying. There's no lead to disconnect your little cell cables. Of course there's one to disconnect your main power here. Obviously. But look, you can't detach that. <laughs> I'm sure if I open this up. It's got no screws in there. So I'm not sure what's keeping this thing together. My guess is nothing. Oh, yep, nothing. Ah, there you go. So this board is just glued right in. Wait a second. No, oh, the board isn't even glued in. It's just floating there. Oh yes, I notice. Please undo it, the main power, before you start opening anything. The, this is called a battery management system. It prevents the battery from running outside of its safe zone. But um, it also limits how much power it puts out. I mean, clearly this battery can put out a lot more power than normal. So what I want to try to do is run the bike for a little bit off of the battery, just to see how it goes. But notice the gauge of this cable it looks the same thickness as what the gauge was on the kit, which is good. Now, I don't know if these look the same length, but if you take these out, it is best to mark them before you actually go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to take them out right now. I'm just going to... I'm going to make sure this is fully charged. T 
think of this, it looks like it was just hacked out by hand. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. This does feel pretty heavy. I think all up the cells by themselves, I can't remember how many it was, but how many cells are called 48 volts and 10 amps, if they're the A132, A123 cells, it equals up to 4 kiloamps, but I think this weighs way more than that, like 7, so I'm not sure why that is. Just to get the size of it. Wrapped up in tape, 48 volts, 10 amp hours. And it's lithium iron phosphate, so it's not lithium iron phosphate batteries have a lot more of a flat discharge curve. What that means is, over time, the voltage won't drop as much as your other cells. Which is also harder to detect what its actual level is. Because a lot of battery meters will take a look at the voltage and guess what the level of power remaining in the battery is based on the voltage. Because they usually have a predictable drop in voltage as the current gets drained. But with these you don't, it remains pretty much flat on, depending on temperature and discharge rate and such. I'm not a big fan of that being pretty sturdy. This doesn't I'm gonna check these battery packs out, make sure they work properly and such. Then after I've guaranteed that they work, I'm gonna properly cut this open and take a look at the strips and terminals inside and make sure they're thick enough and make sure there's nothing bad inside when you replace it. It's, my guess is that's just the cables just going straight in there. I also want to make sure there's no cardboard inside of here because a lot of times I put cardboard for insulator but of course if these get hot that's a, that's a hazard. Sort of hard to tell whether it sounds like it's got cardboard. But yes, I will be only oh yeah, another thing to note. It has a cooling fan in the charger, so that'll help its lifetime. So I'll be testing this out sooner or later. Sadly I won't be able to go outside and hook it up to my bike right now because it's about 45 degrees Celsius outside. And the shed doesn't have air conditioning, so stuff that. Anyway, keeping you updated. See you later.